in Houston. Um, we're at the Mayhem Maker. It's a 10K competition. Uh, 6,000 for first, 3,000 for second, and 1,000 for third. Um, we got a bunch of good cars here. Uh, we got Jake Wise, James Kurz, and that little Beamer fucking rips. Uh, we got Vadim and his Beamer. That thing also rips. That's like a LS3 car. Apparently that car's got like a K24 turbo. And uh, yeah, Greg's a good driver. We got Adam Groob, ex uh, FD driver. Art Tursk, he's got an LS in his 240, he's good. And then uh, we got a couple other people that are pretty good over there. Josh McGuire is over there with his uh, like 1300 horsepower 240. So um, Kevin Susi again, he's a really good driver. His car kind of sucks though. So it's still SR power, so it breaks every five seconds. Um, yeah, we definitely have a lot of good competition here and I'm excited. So uh, wish me luck and we're gonna get some uh, test laps out. Hopefully everything with the clutch is fixed. Um, I got a new clutch stop in it and uh, we fixed that air gap. So I think we'll be good. So, hell yeah.
spots to go. Yep.
Alright, cool. Can I do All right. one more time battle with Kevin? Who knows what the hell he'll do this time, so... Safe but aggressive. We gotta air, water down the radiator. Radi Get ice cold ra uh, water right, and radiate water down. Huh? What are your temps at? 220. 220? Okay. Alright, All right, super pumped. Hopefully this doesn't die because I just noted that it is freaking dead. But super pumped to go against Vadim. He's a good adversary and uh, he's beat me before, so we're not gonna let him do it today. Good luck, bro! a tie rod. You just lost a tie rod? Yeah, he went way off track and came in and when he came back on track to initiate, he smashed right into me. Okay. Uh, I don't know. I'm pitted way over there. Um, I don't know if they want to figure out who's at fault or whatever and then we can do it. It shouldn't take me that long. I have a tie rod. Go ahead. Go get started on it. We'll just call it back. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we got the car together. Hopefully it stays together. We kind of threw it as good as we could.
to get super swanky on them, so let's go. I think I dirt dropped a little, but... He got you on that, unfortunately. Okay. Moving on. Do you know how they figured out fault with that? Because uh, he, like, came back on track and just... had a video of behind both you guys, so when he dropped, you... I, I don't know if you got lost or what happened, but he came up, and then you shot into him. There was no contact when he dirt dropped. They're like, oh, you hit him. Huh? He, they said I hit him. I'm like, you didn't hit him. I was like, how the f did I hit him? He was off track, off line. Yeah. So we're done or what? Yeah. They're like, sorry, he got you, unfortunately. Like, how? How, did, how is that? And like, you see, he's like dirt dropping off the f track, both tires off. The car's b bouncing all around. I'm dragging my fing front have tire. The video. He's like, oh, we have video of somebody like right behind him and it you surged into him. I'm like, I was on the fing brake. He should have fing went off track. He was off track. Alright, so we had a really good day actually for the most part over at uh, Speed Sports with the uh, Mayhem Maker guys and. Uh, you know, I'm super bummed about how we lost because I still don't believe that that was 100% my fault. Um, I kind of got mixed reviews on what people think because the dirt drop was so bad, but then I was too close. So um, next time I either need to fall way back, which the car would probably grip up and then I would zero, or just hit him. So, you know, next time maybe I'll just hit the person when they're off the track and be even more aggressive. But um the track the car did like 25 laps with really no issues we popped a starter fuse but that's not a big deal and um we finally fixed the belt issue so uh this pulley was off alignment just a little bit so i pressed the bearing out and uh that got that straightened and then i spaced the tensioner out a little bit because it was actually rubbing like in here so that was what was shredding the belt um so I did a couple really hard laps on this and the belt still looks perfect. So hopefully that's behind us and we don't have to worry about the friggin' belt anymore because that was super annoying. Um, but thanks for all the sponsors. The season's been great. Um, we've come a super long way with the car and um, it's just been pretty awesome overall to go, you know, eight months getting the car done and within like six events i think it was we got the car dialed in and now it's super fast um so we're pretty much ready for prospect we're super excited to get in there and uh i think we'll be really competitive next year um so make sure you like comment and subscribe and hit the little bell thing that way it actually tells you when i make videos because i try to do them pretty often but it is the end of the season so we might not do too many events, but uh, we'll see you next year in Pro Spec and make sure you're watching.